This is a 15-year-old male who had uh, progressive pulmonary regurgitation following a balloon valvuloplasty for severe pulmonary stenosis. Had a pulmonary valve implanted approximately uh, four years previously and has since developed uh, severe pulmonary stenosis uh, due to somatic outgrowth as well as severe pulmonary regurgitation due to uh, calcific degeneration of the prosthetic valve. Uh, here we are excising the, the pulmonary valve. And now we are uh, implanting a new larger pulmonary valve. The posterior part of the sewing room is being sewn to the ventricular outflow tract. And as you notice, this is being performed on a beating heart on cardiopulmonary bypass uh, without the use of aortic cross clamping. This is to fashion the patch made out of bovine pericardium. And the patch is being sewed to the pulmonary artery as well as the right ventricular alpha tract um, to allow the the stented valve to sit uh, unobstructed. At this point, we are completing the patch augmentation of the pulmonary artery. Next, the patch will be folded over and the valve will be secured anteriorly to the double layer patch. Once that is completed, the patch is then folded over and used to augment the right ventricular outflow tract. Here's the completion of the patch. At this point, the patch has been completed and the patient is being weaned from cardiopulmonary bypass.